Peace Black Temple family. My name is Heather Archer and I'd like to pose a question to the community for you to consider. Um, and it is, what would a liberated work life look like for you? So uh, we're coming up on Juneteenth and I've been thinking a lot about the topic of what freedom looks like in my life and what sovereignty looks like in my life. And there's a concept that I've thought of that called work-life liberation. So moving past um, workplace well-being and what does it look like to step into work-life liberation? So um, that's kind of where my mind's been going a bit. And I wanna ask that question to you and I'm a sound healer and a Reiki practitioner and um, a facilitator. And so I do like to bring sound in and um, I'd love to offer some sound as we ponder this question. So this bowl is tuned to the throat chakra. And when we think about the throat chakra, a lot of times, um, especially when we think about like folks of color, um, our throat chakras are closed, have been closed a lot of times because we've been in really kind of like repressed or oppressive um, institutions, right? That we kind of had to contort ourselves or not speak our truths in order to kind of fit in and get along. And so a lot of times we, we got to work on opening up our throat chakras so that we're um, really able to sit with and be in our truths and to do so unapologetically. So with that, um, take a moment to take a deep breath in, hold, and release. What could work-life liberation look like? And um, on that note, just take a moment to ponder what that looks like. Um, what does work-life liberation look like in your life? So that could be in terms of like how you work, right? Um, are you working in the same place every day? Are you going into an office? Are you working from home? Are you working um, from another country? Those kinds of things. Um, it could also be things around the kinds of relationships that you wanna have at work or the power dynamics that you wanna experience in your workplace. It could also look like uh, how you are seen or valued for your culture. Like, is your culture accepted? Do you feel like you're able to embrace your cultural identity? So that these are some examples of work-life liberation. Also, that could be the amount of, of, of times you're able to care for yourself in a given day with the work that you do, right? If you're going from back-to-back -back meetings and you don't have the time for the rest or the restoration, whether that's napping or taking a bath um, or being able to read some, some soul-filling material, right? Something that's not just about production. So if you are in a space in which you are in that grind, maybe this is an opportunity to consider how to relinquish some of that grind. Um, how, what are some, some practices, some nourishing practices that you can incorporate in your day in order to kind of detox from that grind? So with that, that's, um, that's what I got for y'all and um, wishing you peace, love, and liberation. And until next time, peace.